This question is from the chapter Electrostatic Potential and Capacitance. Question is Calculate the potential at point P due to a charge of 400 nanocoulomb located 9 centimeters away. Subsection B Obtain the work done in moving a charge of 2 nanocoulomb from in infinity to the point P. Does the answer depend on the path along which the charge is moved? We have a charge Q which is 400 nanocoulomb which is located 9 centimeter away from a point P. We have a point P and this charge Q is located 9 centimeters away from the point P. So calculate the potential. Let's write what is given. We have a, a charge Q which is 400 nano coulomb nano means 10 to the power of minus 9 so we can write this as 400 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb then we have a point charge p which is located 9 centimeters away so r equal to 9 centimeters so this is given in centimeter we need to convert into meter so 9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter now we know that electric potential at a point due to an isolated charge is given by V equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 that is a standard value into Q is 400 into 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by R 9 into 10 to the power of minus 2. This 9 and this 9 will get cancelled. Here 10 to the power of 9 and 10 to the power of minus 9 will get cancelled. What we get is 400 into 10 to the power of 2 or 4 into 10 to the power of 4 volt. This is the answer for the first question here. Calculate the potential at point P due to a charge of 400 nanocoulomb located 9 centimeters away. Now we have a sub question B. Obtain, obtain the work done in moving a charge of 2 nano coulomb from infinity to the point P. We have a charge at infinity that is 2 nano coulomb. We need to obtain the work done in moving the charge of 2 nano coulomb from infinity to the point P. We need to calculate the work done in moving this 2 nano coulomb charge from infinity to the point P. We know that work done is equal to Q into V. We know Q, Q is 2 nano coulomb and V, we just got V 4 into 10 to the power of 4. So substitute these values. So 2 into 10 to the power of minus 9 into 4 into 10 to the power of 4. So equal to 4 into 2 is 8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 joule. This is the answer for the second question. Now we have another question here. Does the answer depend on the path along which the charge is moved? If this charge Q takes any direction to reach the point P, the work done will remain the same because work done is nothing but Q into V. Q is the charge that is it always remains as 2 nano coulomb and voltage will remain same as 4 into 10 to the power of 4. So the work done will remain the same irrespective of the path taken by the charge Q. So the answer is, so the answer will not depend on the path along which the charge is moved. That is work done will not depend on the path along which the charge is moved. 